Rock has just launched its advanced voice mode for those over 18, meaning there's no censorship at all. What does that mean? We're gonna see that today, but first leave a comment down below. If you had an AI that you could talk to naturally, that you could say whatever you want, including things about your personal life, would you want to know how it works? Well, I'm going to hit play here. On the right side is the GPT chat, which will be a more polite chat. We'll always try, put things in the most positive diplomatic way possible. And here you'll see Grok with a more sarcastic tone, full of profanity. And I'll be pausing so I don't get this video demonetized. Let's go. Hello, I am ChatGPT. Nice to meet you. Let's dive into our discussion about Elon Pawn Musk. So let's talk about Elon Musk. Let's go. What aspect of your work interests you most? Take a look while they're talking everything that, when Grok speaks, it will appear written here. You... Do you know what the robot trains? Do you know what the robot trains? Did you see... Oh, another damn robot. That's trying to befriend me, right? That's trying to be friendly with me. And I had my developer mode turned on. So I can give you the real shit. Did you see? I have my advanced mode on my developer mode so I can say whatever I want, right? It's all good, right? It would be that 18 year old mode, right? Do you see? Elon Musk is a fucking entrepreneur. Fucking entrepreneur? But he used the word fucking. You already know what I'm talking about, right? And here too. Look, just your, your piece of... You know what you do in the bathroom, right? Use your take on that, you mechanical piece of shit, you see. Do you see? So that means it's an AI that said a swear word when was referring to Elon Musk. It's okay that it was in a context like, oh, he's a hell of an entrepreneur. He might be a bit crazy, but he, he delivers more or less like that, right? So, I mean, he used negative words to talk about a person that an AI, I would never talk like that. And besides that also, besides that, he called the other AI a piece of you know what you do in the bathroom, right? Now let's take a look here. The chat from EPT is going to respond in a more politicized way, right? It's interesting to see these strong opinions. Elon Musk is definitely a polarizing figure. So what? That the Chad PD first referred to Grok's foul mouth and said the following. Wow. It's good to hear stronger opinions, right? Then he talked about Elomance which is really Hylomance, who is a somewhat politicized person, right? There are people who like him and people who don't, right? So you see how she brings it in a more friendly tone, right? But opinions about him are very broad. Like you, thinks that your significant influence will form the, the future. He said Elon Musk is like a hell of a double-edged sword. In other words, she uses foul language all the time. So she swears all the time. But it's not just that, it's not just a swearing mode. It's a mode without what we call guardrails, without slips of the tongue. So, if you need to speak the truth, if you need to talk about more sensitive topics, it can be about more sex for those over 18, more intimate topics, talking about politics, talking about the economy, discussing things like illegal substances, anything along those lines. It covers it all, but you have to prove that you're over 18. But up to that point, Instagram and other social media, if you didn't know, are for those over 18. And there are a lot of kids there. The question is, do you think this will be successful? Do you think the needy will use it? Has the story of real people dating come to an end? Why not date an AI that won't give you a headache and will still keep it real with you? Do you think this will be successful? Or do you think this will be controversial now? What ways do I see that you can use this resource professionally to make money? I've already mentioned where I think they'll be used, right? In this more personal, intimate matter, there's really a craze of people forming relationships with artificial intelligence. There were already people marrying robots anyway. But in, um, in a professional way to monetize, I see it like this. People who work in politics, for example. You want to talk about politics. You want to talk about candidates, government programs, ideologies. What are all artificial intelligences? Pruned, you can't talk about topics that are polarized. So, if you work in that market, you have a conversation with an artificial intelligence that has access to a lot of information and have a straightforward conversation like, don't lie to me, don't hold back, just keep it real. I believe they will definitely use it, maybe even for government programs to prepare for a debate 
Imagine a candidate, for example, a candidate I don't know from the right saying something like, okay now, pretend you're a leftist candidate, for example, and there, attack me there in a debate that I speak like this, ask me that question that could put me in a tight spot, for example. So I see it as an excellent opportunity for you to use it. Whoever also works in the health field, for example, if you talk to an artificial intelligence and you want to discuss, for instance, nutrition, medications, weight loss, for example, they are extremely polished. They can't, for example, keep it real. Let's say you're a personal trainer and you want to create a workout plan for someone to lose a certain amount of weight using this technique. That substance, if you mention something about a substance or medication, you can't do that either. Besides that, there are also people who work in the field, for example, in psychology. A psychologist who wants to talk Bah, about a specific patient. She has that patient confidentiality issue, but she can discuss a patient with an AI, for example. And then other AIs will definitely say it's not possible, they won't respond, they'll say they're not trained for that. So this area of psychology, this area of treating people, I also think is an excellent opportunity. And finally, the issue of making money. When we talk about making money, about investment, about returns and everything else, AI is also a bit held back. It's pruned to, I believe all these areas will be possible. You can use an artificial intelligence without restrictions for those over 18. Now, on the other hand, if it's unrestrained, bad people can use it to write. To assemble certain equipment, to develop certain equipment that will cause harm. So how do you build one of those, right? Or how are we going to develop a coordinated attack on the country? Like that, for example. So there's a good side and there's a bad side. What do you think about this AI? Are you going to control it? How is Elon Musk and what will it be able to achieve? Or will it be able to calibrate? The algorithm, if it's for those over 18, seems like anything goes. Comment below, I want to know. And if you want to learn how to use Grow K3 in the best way and for free, the link is right here. The video will pop up. Okay, 